everybody, Carrie Bauckham here. Welcome back. I missed you guys yesterday. I didn't um, get a chance to upload a video on on Monday. Sometimes life happens. It's an excuse, I know. Um, one that I'm gonna tell myself I'm not gonna beat myself up about. But I am here for the five for five challenge with um, Michael Matera and others who are joining us. I'll put links below to the other people who are joining us in the five for five challenge. So if you're curious about what their challenge is and how they're going after it, you can follow their journey there too. Last week I had a blast reflecting on my weeks, my days, and sharing with you what each day had brought me um, and inspired me with. And today I was kind of stuck. I'm like, what am I gonna talk about? But no, really, I do have something here for you guys today. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, I, my classroom is completely gamified, 100% all year long. And the basic like elevator pitch of gamification is taking the best things, things we love most about board games and video games and taking them and layering them over what we're already doing in our classrooms to bring out the very best in our students. And I am in my, oh, fourth or fifth year of gamifying my classroom and this is my third year of gamifying it all year and so I thought I'd take you into kind of my end of the year wrap up um, but then something stopped me so I was cleaning up things and getting things organized and found something in my filing cabinet. I found my very first game that I ever, well not my very first game, one of my first three games that I designed that was a quarter long. And I found my XP, my die. Now, there's Velcro on here with numbers. Why didn't I just use a regular die? This brings back, this die was the very first die I ever used in one of my games. I had mini game point XP. about my game this year and looking through the elements of it and trying to organize this binder it made me realize that taking time to organize your stuff taking time to look looking back and reflect on where you've been this year and then also taking time to let that fill you up and be like man look at what I did I really did some awesome stuff this year I keep track of my game in a binder so I do have my game stuff all on Google. So I have folders in here where I keep track of things and so each thing's labeled and this is where I keep the digital versions of things. But I don't keep all, of, I don't let the digital be my working place. My game is, is live. Everything that my students come in contact with with my game is paper. It's for them to touch and I do that on purpose because I want the feedback to be immediate and instantly rewarding and instantly give them back what um, the game is going to do. It's going to encourage enga engagement reward them and then also inspire them to want to do more and bring more to the game. So my game is very, is all paper based. So because it is, I don't let all of my game live on my computer and I always want to make sure I have things printed out so that when a student comes to a certain moment in the game or experiences a, a certain part of the story, that I have it there instantly and I don't want to have to say to them, oh, you know what, honey, I'll print it out in an hour, which we know what that means in teacher language, like two hours a day. I don't want it to have to wait that long. So I have all of my stuff organized in a binder. I'm gonna show that puppy to you now. All right, so let's see if we can get you guys to see this. So this is my binder and it's it's not too much of a hot mess right now. I've, I've gone through and cleaned some of it up, but I organize it in order of the game. So here's my level system. And then I have my basics. So my students come in at the beginning of the year to become Jedi and I've got my basic board set up. And I'm gonna fill this up before I leave for the school year so I have everything all set for next year. And then I've got power-ups. And then I have my levels and I keep my levels in here. And so my students level up um, with lightsaber colors, but I keep a post-it note of what they're gonna get when they level up. And this just helps me not have to think on the fly and it lets me think through my game as I go. And I keep on the post-it notes when they level up to this level, what they will, what and um, what powers they will get or what items they will get. And as you can see, 
it's changed quite a few times as my game has changed. Things have been scribbled on, new things have been added as the game has developed. And then I have my galaxy, and then I've got my ships and different parts of my galaxy. So as you can see, I keep everything here. So these are galactic properties. I keep everything together. So if a student buys a galactic property, it's right here on my binder and I can pull it right out and get to it instantly. No printing. It's already there, ready for me to go because I want it to be there like I would in a video game. If I was playing a video game or a board game, I wouldn't have to wait, want to wait for the video game developer to, you know, go find a piece for me or create it. And then I keep extra copies of my items. And some of these are old. Some of them are new. Keep them in there. You never know when you're going to need them. So my binder works as my game flows. But what's been really fun today is going through this binder. And um, I was printing some stuff out. I got to add some stuff. I got to take some, uh, some stuff out. I got to say to myself, wow, I don't need that anymore because I do this instead. So you know, t whether you are a teacher of a Gamify classroom or whether you're not, I think it's really important for us to take stock as teachers and what we've done over the school year and give ourselves credit for the growth that we've that we've had, right? We do a lot of things throughout the school year and we gain a lot from wanting to be better teachers. And I think it's important to take stock in what we've what we've where we've come from and where we are now. If you are a teacher of a gamified classroom, I'd love to hear how you keep your system organized or if you have any suggestions for me. If you're not the teacher of a, of a gamified classroom, I would love to hear how you take stock in what you've done. How do you go over what you've learned in, um, throughout the school year? And how do you give yourself props for where you've started and where you've come from? All right, you guys, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow for another part of this five for five challenge. Have a great Tuesday and we'll see you again on Wednesday. Later guys.